Good evening. Hello. Hola, hola. Good evening. Good evening. Good evening. How are you, Daisy? Good evening. Good evening, Melvin. How are you? I'm fine. Okay. Really good. Hi, fine. Hi, Hi, Hi Sanjit. So How are you? Fine. Fine. Excellent. Really good to see you. Let me see. Luis Salazar, how are you? I'm great. Thank you for asking. Excellent. Really good. <laughs> that was so polite. When we are mal, excellent. Let me have a Lorena Lucero. How are you? Fine. Excellent. I'm Ready? fine. Yeah. Uh-huh. <laughs> Only that, you're fine. Excellent. How are you, Lister? Let's see. Let's check those audios. Vamos chequeando que nos funcione bien ese audio para participar en la clase, please. Let me see. Stephanie, how are you? I'm fine, thank you. And you? I'm great. Thank you so much for asking. Excellent. Very good to see you and very good to hear you too. Uh, all right, everyone. Welcome back to your class. It's good to see you. I'm happy that you are here just in time, all right? As per usual, como es usual, siempre llegan a tiempo, right? So very good. Let me share with you my PPT. Voy a compartir con ustedes la PPT que nos ayudará a desarrollar la clase, right? Let me see. Okay, over there. So today we have Thursday, uh, September 30th, 2021, class four. Yay, this is the last class from the week, right? La última clase de la semana. Finally, Friday. Vacation mode on. <laughs> Para dos días de vacación, right? <laughs> the weekend. All right. Excellent. Now, let me go ahead with something else. Well, I see some of you are taking notes, so that's great. Okay. Let's move on. We have... Do you remember, okay? Now in this section, in esa sección solo vamos a tener dos preguntas ahora. Okay, no, no más estrés. <laughs> Let's see, we have mention the verb to be a structure. ¿Se recuerdan la estructura del verb to be? Right, the verb to be a structure. Miren la estructura del verb to be. Sí, la afirmación. Cuando hacemos oraciones afirmativas, decíamos que tenemos una estructura en específico, ¿verdad? Entonces veamos cuál es esa. Let me see. I'm going to have Stephanie. Can you tell me the structure, please? Yeah. Del verb to be. Sí, pero cuando hacemos afirmaciones, oraciones. Eh, verb to be plus subject plus complement plus question mark. All right, excellent. Esa es para las questions. Eso es para hacer preguntas. All right, thank you, Stephanie. So let's see, Luis Salazar, for number one, mention the verb to be a structure. Cuando yo quiero hacer una oración, simple, nada más. Okay. Um, subject plus verb to be plus complement. That's correct. Thank you. Stephanie and Luis, excellent. That's correct, All right? Ya mencionábamos ayer que para convertirlo en pregunta solo voy a trasladar mi subject. En vez de tener el subject aquí primero, lo voy a trasladar behind, atrás del verb to be. Simple as that, para hacer preguntas. Right? Let's move on. Aquí solo como una eh, manera pequeña de review, 
tenemos la estructura, right? Tenemos el verb to be, plus subject, plus complement, plus question mark. Veíamos estos examples, ¿ok? Let's practice, with, let's practice with these examples. Ayer, déjenme ver una consulta, ¿verdad que ayer sí hicieron ustedes el ejemplo de sus preguntas? Utilizando el verb to be. Yes, no, miss. No, teacher. No, All right. Ok, excelente. Ah, pues sí, quiero que veamos estos examples porque luego van a proceder ustedes a la práctica, right? Ya recuerdo, creo que a ustedes les dije que iba a ser tarea esto, right? Solo iban a hacer una preguntita. All right, let's move on. Entonces tenemos estos examples. Let me see, Sochil, can you please read one and two? Um, I'm hungry again. Is she your sister? That's correct. Thank you. Wilfredo Omar, please. Three and four. Okay. Is Pablo your boss? Are we students? That's correct. Thank you. Let me have a Monroy, please. A five, six, and seven. Are you my parent angry? Is, is it my cat old? And number seven, please. Uh, is it are my you? cat old? Number seven. Are, are, you? are you free uh, today? Mm -hmm. That's correct. Thank you. Right? Very good. Entonces, aquí estamos utilizando el verb to be para dar inicio a nuestras preguntas. Right? Esto es muy diferente de las statements or sentences. Esto es diferente a, a las afirmaciones o oraciones en afirmativo, right? ¿Por qué es diferente? Solamente cambia la posición del verb to be, ¿ok? No nos complicamos mucho, solo la cambiamos. Let's see, practice time. We have instructions. Eh, let me see. Eh, Fernando Villatoro, please. Hi. Yes. Me regala las instrucciones, please. Uh, instruction where individually create one one question use the verb to be share yeah. your sentences with the class excellent very good all right aquí mistake aquí es share your questions right porque vamos a hacer preguntas share your questions with the class thank you very much all right podemos comenzar a trabajar Let me know when you're finished.
If you have questions about any vocabulary, you can ask me. I'm here to help you. Si hay preguntas con el vocabulario o hay algo que nos cuesta, pueden decirme. Estoy aquí para brindarles ayuda. Uh huh. Como vamos? Did you finish already? Finish. Finish. Very good. Very good to hear that. Finish. All right. Excellent. All right. Let's get started with the. Eh, Sherry, right? Vamos a compartir ya. Vamos a comenzar con Sachis. Okay, Sachil, tell, tell me your question. Uh, are you my boyfriend? Mm -hmm. That's correct. Excellent. Very good. Straight to the point. Excellent. Let me have Daisy Lopez. Mm -hmm. Are you an um, imports manager? All right, excellent, very good. We're using more vocabulary, excellent. And let me have Luis Salazar. Are you from El Salvador? Mm -hmm, that's correct, thank you. What about Rosibel Renderos? No sé si es necesario, si sí escucho como ruiditos de que está funcionando el audio, pero no escucho muy bien su voz. No, 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 no. ¿Serán los headphones, Rosibel? Tal vez serán los audífonos, porque desde el lunes no he podido lograr agarrar su participación en la clase. All right. Well, let's hope you can do something. All right. Let's move on. Let me have Lorena Lucero, please. I like your shoes. Uh -huh. uh, what's your last name? Um, your name is Leonardo. All right. Chequemos los examples, Lorenita, uh -huh. please. Estamos sí. comenzando con el verb to be. Recuerde que la estructura nos dice comencemos con el verb to be y luego nos dice pongámoslo en sujeto y por último el complemento. Mm -hmm. eh, está bien, estaría correcto. Are you teacher class? Are you teaching a class? Podríamos ponerle. Ajá. Right. Uh -huh. Sí. Are you teaching a class. All right, excellent. Yes. Ahí ya no estamos en present simple, ya no estaríamos en presente simple, ya estaríamos en progresivo, pero está bien, bien. porque estamos haciendo el uso. Your name is Leonardo. Ah, ¿Es correcto? Is no. your name Leonardo? Ahí estaría. Just on point. Justo. Excellent. Really good. Thank you. William Reyes, please. Is Liz, is Lisa at home? All right, excellent. Is Lisa at home? That's correct. Melvin Benavides, please. Okay. I lost. Uh -huh. um, is she your teacher? All right, excellent. Now you see? Yeah. Sabian fácil, right? Is she your yeah. teacher? Excellent, very good. Monroy, let me hear you. Is your name of the sister? All right, excellent. Hey, repita de nuevo. 
Is your name of the sister? Is your name of sister? Of sister. Ah, usted quiere preguntar cuál es el nombre de tu hermana? Sí. Yes. Bye. Ahí ya me salió utilizando otra estructura. ¿Ok? Entonces no entra aquí, porque ahí me está poniendo una double H word. Para preguntar eso necesita una palabra con WH, que sería what. what? Eh, de, hecho, de hecho, sí la había hecho. What's your name of sister? Pero yeah. la cambié pensando en que iba a salir mejor. Sí, pero recuerde que aún si la traducimos en español, ahí necesitamos el cual, right? La palabra cual. Uh -huh. ¿Cuál es el nombre de tu hermana? Entonces, uh -huh. lo mejor sería comenzar de un solo, siguiendo la estructura del verb to be. Puede utilizar cualquier verb to be que usted quiera. Por ejemplo, am I sleeping? Se puede preguntar a usted mismo, ¿tengo sueño? Am I sleeping? Right? O me estoy durmiendo. Am I sleeping? O podemos preguntarle, is such a in the class, hasta so chill de la clase, right? Estamos utilizando la estructura, pegándonos a la estructura. Right? Excelente. Yes. Thank you for your participation. Fernando Villatoro, please. Is he a doctor? Excellent. Thank you very much. Wilfredo Omar. Okay. Are you work in Friday and Saturday? All right. Are you working? Si me lo ponen progresivo, si suena bien. Are you working okay. on Friday and Saturday? Right? You work. Ajá. Pero no nos olvidemos que ahorita estamos en present. All right? No nos vayamos más adelante. Okay. All right. Excellent. Thank you. Stephanie, please. Are you my my friend? Exactly. Are you my friend? That's correct. Eh, Mario Renato, please. Eh, perdón, tenía apagada. Are you studying intelligent? Okay. Bye. Eh, ¿Quiere referirse a un estudiante o a muchos? A muchos. Okay. Are you a student? Sí. Are you a student? Intelligent. That's correct. Thank you. Eric Castellón, please. Is she engineer? All right. Is she an engineer? Excellent. Very good. That's correct. Solo pongámosle el an, que sería para el artículo, right? Artículo indefinido. Thank you. All right, everyone. Very good job. Excellent. Let me move on. Okay, let's move with this. Okay, yesterday we were watching the numbers, and some of you practiced the pronunciation. Some others weren't able to practice, right? So let's see. Eh, todos practicamos con los números, right? Diciendo estos ayer, pero no hicimos la siguiente actividad. Y esta sí quiero que la hagamos, right? Instructions. Stephanie, ¿podría leerme las instrucciones, please? Instructions. Number one. Word in vivid. In vivid. No sé cómo se dice. Excellent. Muy bien que me haya dicho. Individually. Individual. Two. Create, create a fake phone number. Three, share your phone number. Excellent, very good. Repeat after me, create. 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 Uh -huh. Create. A fake. A fake. All right, so let's okay. Phone okay. number. Excellent, that's correct, thank you. All right, everyone. Create a fake phone number. Sí, vamos a crear un número Teacher. telefónico. Ajá. What's that mean fake? Ah, eso iba. <laughs> Excellent question. Falso. False. All right? Que no es real. Ok. Entonces, van a crear un número de teléfono que no sea real. Right? Que no sea el de ustedes. Let's work on this, please. En su cuaderno, porque cuando pasen, no quiero que se les olvide el número telefónico. Right?
finish. Excellent, very good. All right, let's get started. ¿Quiénes más ya tienen su número telefónico? All right, Luis, you have yours. Finish. All right, also, thank you. Melvin, you do have it. All right, excellent. So we can start. Let's see, vamos a hacer parejas. Ven ustedes que ahí aparece en la pantalla el example, right? El ejemplo. Y tiene una Q, esa Q es de questions, right? De preguntas. Entonces la pregunta es, what's your phone number? Uno de ustedes va a hacer la pregunta y su eh, pareja, su classmate, va a responder Answer. con la palabra que aparece. Ajá, exacto. Answer. Entonces viene y usted dice, my phone number is 7032. Pueden decir dash si ustedes quieren para el guión o solo lo omiten. Pueden decir 7032 dash 0085. All right. Simple as that, no más. ¿Qué va a hacer el otro compañero? El otro compañero no solo va a estar, ok, excellent, ready, good, no. El otro compañero tiene que escuchar bien el número. Si usted quiere, lo puede recordar y si no, lo puede anotar, right? Porque después yo les voy a preguntar, hey, what's Anita's phone number, Pablo? Pablo, what's Anita's phone number? Entonces ustedes me tienen que dar el número de teléfono que su compañero les acaba de decir, all right? ¿Está clara la dinámica? Yes? Yes. Oh, clear. <laughs> All right. Very good. I'm happy. Let's get started. Vamos a tener en la primera participación va a ser de Fernando Villatoro. Usted va a hacer el question. Déjeme escribo aquí su nombre. Y vamos a tener a Sochi. All right. Usted será la answer, Sochi. Recuerde, Fernando, tiene que tratar de recordar. O si quiere escribir el número de Sochi, está bien. Action. Ok. What's your cell phone number? Hi, Fernando. My phone number Hi. is 8800-1342. Right. Okay. Excellent. Thank you. Let's see, Fernando. Tell me what's Sochil's phone number. Eight eight zero zero one three four two. Excellent. That's correct. Bravo. Very good. You were paying attention. Excellent. Very good. Let's go with Stephanie and Melvin Benavides. Right. Stephanie, usted pregunta. Melvin, usted da your phone number. Right. Action. What your phone number? My phone number is uh, 7954-6254. Again. Repeat, please. Okay. <laughs> uh, 7954 Six two five four. Okay. Thank you. All right, excellent. Thank you. Let's see. So, uh, Stephanie, what's Melvin's phone number? Seven nine five four six two five four. All right, excellent. That's correct, right, Melvin? Is that correct? Yeah, that's correct. Very good. Thank you, guys. Ahora bien, notaron ustedes que en esta presentación, Stephanie, cuando no logró escuchar algo bien, dijo, can you repeat? O de un solo le dijo, repeat again, please. ¿Verdad? Pueden hacerlo. Right? Let's have Wilfredo. Wilfredo Omar, you are going to ask. And William Reyes, you answer. Action. Okay. Hi, William. What's your number from? Number. 
my phone number is seven zero zero seven one three three five. Okay, thank you. Excellent. So, Wilfredo, what's William's phone number? Uh, your number is five zero zero. Oh, sorry, sorry. Seven zero zero seven one three three five. Is that correct, correct William? William? Uh -huh, excellent. Yes. Correcto. Yes. Excellent. Correct. Very good. Thank you, guys. Let me have a Luis Salazar. You are the question, and Monroy, you are the answer. All right. Action. Monroy, what's what's your phone number? Hi, my phone number is seven seven zero nine four six two seven. Okay, thank you. Excellent, guys. So let's see, Luis. What's Monroy's uh, phone number? The the phone number the Monroy phone number is seven seven zero nine four six two seven. Excellent. That's correct, Monroy. Yes. Excellent. Very good, guys. Thank you so much. All right. Let me have Lorena Lucero. You are the question and Mario Renato, you are the answer. Action. Hi, Mario. What's your name phone? What's your phone number? My phone number is 6 H four one three four two nine. Thank you. Excellent. So Lorena, what's Mario's phone number? Six my uh, uh, number six eight four one three four two nine. That's correct. Thank you very much. Está correcto, verdad, Mario? Yes, correct. Excellent. Very good. Now Con let me see. Congratulations. Excellent. Yes, Lorena. indeed. Very good, Lorena. Thank you. Thank now you. I'm going to have a Daisy Lopez. You are the question, Daisy. And Eric Castellón, you are the answer. Action. What's your phone number? My phone number is plus five zero three seven seven four seven three two five five. Uh, repeat. Plus five zero three seven seven four seven three two five five. Okay. All right, Daisy. Let's see. Hubo algo interesante en ese número telefónico. Vamos a ver si lo logramos agarrar. Okay, Daisy. So what's Eric's phone number? Uh, for number is uh, five five three seven seven four seven three two. Fine, fine. All right, let's see, Eric, is it true? Yes. All right, thank you. Eric, si creo que no escuché mal, usted dijo plus 503, right? Yeah, yes. Excellent, okay, sí, es que dio la, ay, ¿cómo se llama esto? El área, ¿verdad? En mi caso es ¿Cómo se code? The code. Very good, thank you. <laughs> All right, everyone, excellent job. Good listening, muy bueno. Tenemos muy buena la habilidad de escuchar. Let's move on, all right? Now we have this. What's in your bag, right? What's in your bag? ¿Qué hay en tu bolso? We have an address book, a hairbrush, a wallet, sunglasses, a CD player or a CD player, 
a cell phone, keys, a camera, right? Notemos aquí que en son glasses y keys no tengo a ni an, así que no se lo podemos agregar, right? Solo tenemos an address book, a hairbrush, a wallet, sunglasses, a CD player, a cell phone, keys, a camera, right? Now, let's see. Voy a pedirles que me den el vocabulario, right? I'm going to start with um, Wilfredo Omar, please. Tell me the vocabulary. Okay. Uh, what's in your bag? Sunglasses, a hairbrush, a wallet, a CD player, a cell phone, keys, a camera. That's correct, thank you. Y muy buena, muy buena entonación en la palabra what, que sería la contraction del verb to be con el WH, ¿verdad? Muy buena entonación, ¿por qué? Porque el hecho de que esté la SI tenemos que pronunciarla. No podemos decir what in your bag, no. What's in your bag, right? Si sentimos que tenemos un poquito de problemas con la S, tratemos, esforcémonos por pronunciarla. What's, aunque suene fuerte, right? Let me have a social, please give me the vocabulary. What's in your bag? An address book? A airbrush, a wallet, sunglasses, a CD player, a camera, keys, a cell phone. That's correct. Thank you. Repeat after me, Solchit, please. A hairbrush. A hairbrush. Mm -hmm. Excellent. Very good. Thank you. Monroy, please. What in your bag? Uh, a hairbrush, a uh, wallet, a CD player, a cell phone, uh, a camera, okay. Right, keys, repeat, keys. What? Keys, esta, keys. Y... Keys. Keys. Uh -huh. Exactly, y repeat esta también, an address book. And, and this book. Address, address book. Address book. That's correct, thank you. Let me have Fernando Villatoro, please. What's in your bag? An address book, a hairbrush, a wallet, sunglasses, a CD player, a camera, keys, and cell phone. Okay. Very good. That's correct. Thank you. Melvin Benavides, please give me the honors. Uh, what is what is your bag? Um, address book, a hairbrush, a wallet, sunglasses, a CD player, a cell phone, keys, a camera. That's correct. Thank you. Lorena Lucero, please tell me the vocabulary. What is your bag? A uh, address book, a uh, hardbox, a wallet, a sunglass, a CD player, a cell phone, a camera, keys. All right. Lorenita, ¿qué les dije de sunglasses? Sunglasses. Ajá. Uh -huh. No lleva a ni a. All right. Solo sunglasses. Excellent. Very good, thank you. Uh, Luis Salazar, please. What's in your bag? An address book, a hairbrush, a wallet, sunglasses, a CD player, a camera, keys, a cell phone. That's correct, thank you. Uh, William Reyes, please. What is your bag? What is your bag? An address book, I, I, I wallet, 
sunglasses, a CD player, a cell phone, keys, and camera. That's correct. Thank you. Now I'm going to have Eric Castellón, please. What's in your bag? Sunglasses, a wallet, a CD player, a airbrush, an address book, keys, a camera, a cell phone. All right, thank you. All right, everyone. Voy a decir esta palabra rapidito. Esta es hairbrush, right? Así. No, no porque ustedes ven la A y la I significa que la vamos a pronunciar, porque sería más difícil. En realidad estaríamos diciendo hairbrush, right? Pero aquí es hairbrush. Como si llevara H, E, R, right? Así, hairbrush. All right. Now let me have the last person. Mario Renato, please. What is your bag? An address book, hairbrush, a wallet, sunglasses, a CD player, a cell phone, keys, a camera. That's correct. Thank you. Daisy Lopez, please. What is your bag? A hairbrush, some place, uh, a wallet, a CD player, a camera, key, a cell phone. All right, thank you. Repeat after me, please. Sunglasses. Sunglasses. Excellent. That's correct. Thank you. And let me see my friend Stephanie, please. Tell me the vocabulary. What? In your bag. What? Um, what? And, um, Andres book, a uh, hairbrush, a uh, wallet, a uh, sunglass, a uh, CD player, a uh, cell phone, a uh, cam camera, case. Case, excellent. Repeat after me. Sunglasses. 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 Excellent. Thank you. All right, everyone. Thank you so much for your participation. Let's move on. We have a conversation. Yay. Finally, a conversation. We can practice our speaking, right? Como les mencionaba en las clases anteriores, eh, en la plataforma tenemos mucho la grammar y el listening y todo perfecto, right? Y a veces hasta reading. Pero el speaking, algunas veces sí se practica, otras veces no, right? So, aquí vamos a aprovechar de, platic, de, de, platic, de practicar el speaking, right? Porque es muy importante. Podemos saber escribir el idioma, pero ¿qué tal lo hablamos, right? Let's see. Escuchemos bien esta pronunciation. This. This. Vean mi entonación. This. This. Ok, recuerden que en el abecedario, eh, en inglés... La E se pronuncia como I. Entonces, por eso vamos a dar la entonación this, right? Y a esta, this. Así, normal. Esa es la única diferencia que podemos hacer entre estos. Gramaticalmente tiene sus diferencias, of course, pero ahorita vamos a quedarnos con eso. Let's see. Um, all right. Permítanme que un compañero mande un mensaje. Let's see. All right, let's move on. Tenemos Wendy, Helen, and Rex. Let's see, voy a tener a Stephanie, you are Wendy, William Reyes, you are Rex, and let me see, Sochi, you are Helen, action. What is this? It's a camera. Oh, cool. Thank you, Helen. It's great. You are, you are welcome. No open. It's both. Okay. Ooh, what are these? 
Derry. Caring. Erry. No puedo pronunciar eso. No sé cómo es. Vamos a ver. Dayer. 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 Earrings. Earrings. Ok. Dayer. Oh, earrings. Ya. Yeah. Oh, they are interest. 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 Thank you, Rex. They are very nice. All right. Thank you, guys. Thank you. Sé que hicieron un buen esfuerzo. Excelente. Thank you. All right. Voy a dar yo la pronunciación de esto. All right. Listen. Esto está en la plataforma. All right. Por eso no les había dado la pronunciación porque consideré que quizá ya la habían visto en la plataforma. Pero la voy a dar. Pay attention, right? Prestemos cuidadosa atención a la pronunciación. Wow, what's this? What's this? It's a camera. Oh, cool. Thank you, Helen. It's great. You're welcome. Recuerden aquí la contraction del you con el verb to be. You're welcome. Now, open this box. Okay. Mm. What are these? What are these? They are earrings. Oh, they are interesting. Interesting. Thank you. Let's, they are very nice, right? Now let's, we can, we can work together. Let me see, Monroy, you are Rex. Uh, Luis Salazar, you are Helen and Lorena Lucero, you are Wendy. Action. Whoa, what is? It's a camera. Oh, cool. Thank you. Helen, it's a great. You're welcome. No open this book. Okay. Oh, where are these? They are eating. Oh, they are interesting. Thank you, Rex. They are very nice. Excellent. Really good, guys. Repeat after me, Monroy. Uh, now open this box. No, open, open this box. And that's correct. Earrings. Earring. Earrings, porque son dos. Earrings. Earring. All right, let's try to push ourselves, right? Eh, Le voy a decir, ahí, right? Yo sé que a veces, eh, thank you, Monroy. All right, puede ser eh, difícil pronunciar la S. A mí me pasa, seguido con la R, ustedes lo van a notar, que a veces yo tengo que hacer una pausa porque cuando hablo rápido, se me traba la lengua, right? Entonces empieza a funcionar el problemita del aire. Y ustedes van a escuchar que yo hago una pausa y trato de eh, corregir eso, right? Y lo trato de decir bien. Eso me suele pasar con la aire, por eso los entiendo si les pasa con la S totalmente, right? Eso pasa. Pero ¿qué sucede? Como estamos en un campo en el cual tenemos que desarrollar todo, por más que sea difícil, We have to push ourselves. Tenemos que presionarnos. Right? Let's work with this. Uh, I'm going to have, let me see, Fernando Villatoro, usted no ha participado, right? In the conversation. No ha no. participado todavía, ¿verdad? Okay. So, Fernando, you are going to be Helen. And let me see, uh, Carla Mejía, you are Wendy. And Mario Renato, you are a Rex, all right? Action. Hola, hola, ¿qué pasó? I'm Helen, right? Yes, you are Helen, eh, Carla Mejía, you are Wendy, y Mario Renato, you are Rex. Ok. Creo que a Carla quizás no le funciona el audio. Let me see, Carla. No. 
no, no le funciona. Entonces, vamos a ver qué otra. Estefanía ya participó, Sochi también, Lorena también, let me have. Bueno, ni modo, les va a tocar a. Ah, no, tengo Daisy López. Ok, okay. Daisy López, please, you are Wendy. Action. Repeat. You are Wendy. Wendy. Ok. Ok, ok. How? What's this? It's a camera. Oh, cool. Thank you, Helen. It's green. You're welcome. No, open this book. Okay. Mm, what are this? They're airing. Oh, there's interesting. Thank you, Rex. They're very nice. Thank you. All right. Thank you, Daisy. Okay, Renata, repeat after me. Box. Box. Hmm? Right? Si usted me dice book, me está diciendo libros. Y aquí si me yes. dice box, yes. me dice cajita, right? Okay. Yes. Excellent. Thank you. Now, Daisy, repeat after me. Interesting. Interesting. Uh -huh. Excellent. Very good. Thank you. All right, okay. everyone. Ahora voy a tener Melvin Benavides. Usted no participa, right? No. no. To tell me. Okay, you're going to be Wendy, Melvin. <laughs> Alvaro, you are going to be Helen. <laughs> Let me see. Okay. No. Ah, pero, pero, mi mamá, so, no, so, no, Chilt. Ah, okay. so, so Chilt va a ser Wendy, eh, Melvin Benavides, oh, usted será okay. Helen y okay. aquí me falta Álvaro, usted va a ser Action. Wow. Es Oh, cool. Thank you, Helen. It's great. You're welcome. Now open this box. Okay. Um, what are these? They are earrings. Oh, they are interesting. Thank you, Rex. They are very nice. All right, excellent. Thank you so much, everyone, for your participation in this conversation, all right? Let's take into account, tomemos en cuenta que la participación en las conversations nos ayuda a desarrollar mejor nuestra habilidad de speaking, right? Okay, let's move on. Now, con eso ya vieron ustedes el this, this, right? Pero, ¿qué son mis? Solo vimos en una conversation. Aquí está. Right? We use this whenever you're talking about one, one object, which is near you. Near significa cerca, okay? Which is near you. El objeto, un objeto, debe de estar cerca de mí para poder utilizar el this. This. Pero si quiero utilizar el this, we use this when you are talking, noten que no digo talking, digo talking about two or more objects that are near you. En ambos casos, en ambas eh, usos gramaticales, bueno, estos son, eh, déjenme ver, demonstratives, ya los van a ver ustedes más adelante, okay. pero ahorita solo conocemos como el des, el dis, right? Pero son demonstratives. En estos, en ambos, vamos a estar utilizando el hecho de que estos objetos tienen que estar cerca de nosotros, right? En ambos usos, los objetos tienen que estar cerca de nosotros. ¿Cuál es la diferencia? En this, yo puedo tener más de dos objetos y ahí voy a utilizar el this. Pero si yo solo tengo un objeto, ¿qué voy a utilizar? Mis. This. O sea, que this. El this es plural. This. ¿Perdón? El this es como plural. El this es plural, ajá. No, okay. el this es plural, I'm sorry. 
El this es plural. Es plural, es ajá. Singular. Singular. Right? Mm -hmm. Exactly, that's correct. All right, everyone, copy this information on your notebooks, please. Copiamos esto. Si ustedes gustan tomar notas. Right. ¿Sabes o no sabes? Right, let's go with the microphone. Please mute the microphone. Mm -hmm. I already closed it, thank you. Ok, Miss Finish. Excelente, very good. Esto lo van a encontrar también en la plataforma, solo que no recuerdo muy bien si está de manera oral o escrita. Por eso es que yo prefiero que lo tengan de manera escrita, right? All right. Miss, ¿puedes repetir cuál es el plural y el singular? Porque no sé si lo copié bien. All right, yes. This singular. Singular, porque solo hablamos de un objeto, right? Y this, plural, because I can have two or more objects. Puedo tener dos o más objetos. Thank you. Thank you, Miss. You're welcome. A pleasure. Anytime. All right. Con esto nos vamos a mover un poquito. Let's see. ¿Tienen otra consulta, queridos participantes o estimados participantes? ¿Tienen otra consulta de acuerdo a estos demonstratives? Ajá, al parecer. No, perdón, sí, solo... Álvaro, thank you. Eh, buenas noches, Miss. Eh, yo me incorporé hace un par de minutos nomás eh, porque venía del trabajo, pero solamente quisiera si me puede decir cómo es la pronunciación de this y eh, la otra palabra. Porque eso sí no lo capté, no lo vi. Singular es this. This. Right? Escucha, this. Yes. Mm -hmm. This. Exacto. Y este, recuerden que la I, perdón, que la E en inglés suena como I, right? Entonces mm. le damos más énfasis y decimos this. This. Ok, mm -hmm. perfecto, gracias. Good, there you have it. All right, everyone, very good job. Thank you so much for asking. Otra preguntita. Creo que Lorena quería preguntar. Sí, eh... Estos, sol, estos solamente se utilizan para objetos, ¿verdad? Sí, okay. exacto. Sí, hasta ahorita okay. lo vamos a aprender con objetos. Excelente. Very good. Let's move on. Recuerden que ahorita lo vamos a aprender con objetos, pero por ejemplo, si ustedes dicen, this is my sister, yo estoy presentando a mi hermana, entonces yo digo, esta es mi hermana, right? This is my sister. En español no decimos esta porque se ofenden, ¿verdad? Pero en inglés, that exists. Entonces decimos, this is my sister, right? En inglés sí existe, entonces lo decimos. So there you have. Otra consulta. No more questions. El significado en español que tiene this y this. Hmm. Este, o esto, o esta. Estos, este o estas. Right? Depende del contexto, Lorena. Yo un significado straight to the point no se lo puedo dar porque depende del contexto también. Right? 
Now, everyone, with Thank that being said, you're welcome. With that being said, it was a pleasure to have you in class today. Esta es la última clase de la semana, right? No del curso. <laughs> que quede claro. And I will see you on Monday. Bye. 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 Bye.